The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. Alright guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. So I <laughs> I was about to well, first of all, Kurt has gone. He just left maybe like two minutes ago. And I was just like, yo, let's wait till tomorrow to do some other vlogging. But yo, there's a lot going to happen along the way. And of course, it's a vlog. I want to show you guys everything, you know, in and around our experiences here in Florida. And let me tell you, man, the sun is about to set really soon, but it's just amazing and beautiful. So I said to Jilly, yo, why don't you just make us some tea? So she's about to do that right now. Jilly, you actually turned me into a tea drinking person because usually, yeah, I don't even know where I felt like drinking tea for. That one, though. Yeah, I don't know. Right? I expected her to smell that. Right. So, yeah, we're going to. So, yeah, we are about to start on doing some tea. Um, I have my laptop out because I was about to edit. I was just like, you know what? It won't hurt making more content. Um, what kind of tea is it? Lipton? Mm -hmm. Okay, some Lipton tea. And uh, hopefully, I can be out here tonight and do a bit of editing before the morning starts. Some the marshmallows Kurt brought were tiny. Yeah, we can just push them on the scale. Okay. Wow. Self lighting. Charcoals. <laughs> I feel like you can do too much. So, you know, as I sit here, um, a little joke came back to me. Uh, <laughs> it's not really a joke joke, but it's, it's kind of strange. Um, so a while back, maybe about two, three weeks ago, you know, we saw a comment that we did speak about it on a video. Where, remember the comment where the presence was talking about dryland tours? Uh -huh. Yeah, because we were on a farm, you know, hanging out and stuff. Even though I had already booked this trip to Florida, maybe like, uh, probably like a three months or so in prior, I saw the comment and I was just like, okay, even though I knew better. I know that traveling the world is something that I've always done. And I just said, no, I just said it to say this um, for yourself on whatever journey it is that you're on, whether you want to be a professional singer, you're going to have people who are going to tell you, you know, say a bunch of stuff to make you feel as if whatever you're doing isn't worth it. Just keep true to what you're doing. Keep doing it. Even if you know that you had that big music contract that you signed yesterday, don't say anything. Just keep doing what you're doing. And that's one thing I can say that YouTube has taught me is just like, you know, see the comments, see whatever the case is, anything bad that anybody has to say, and just keep doing what you have to do. Because at the end of the day, you know what the truth is, and you know what you're what you actually stand for. So that's what was a funny thing that came. To. You remember? What, you remember the comment? Of course. It's just so funny because. It's funny because if we were trying to portray ourselves as like, you know, rich people and traveling the world and doing all these elaborate stuff, it probably would have been, you know. 
No, nah, it, it, they would have said something. They would have said, like, you know, we get hyped. <laughs> I mean, I think one thing I've always said to Jilly all the time, of course, we're out here. It is a job, but I've always said try to make it fun. You know, enjoy yourself as much as possible because as much as we are out here filming and, you know, doing all that stuff, like, if you take the time out and you look, like, I never thought that I would have this opportunity in my wildest dreams, you know, and to actually get paid for it. So at the end of the day, I want to shout out to everybody that watches the channel and shows a bunch of support. We appreciate it. Oh, while I was talking, I was looking at that. Actually, that works. <laughs> it's a little bit more tedious, but it works. It works. So what's the plan? What are you going to do with that? Okay. <laughs> I find s'mores to be well. You're not making s'mores. No, just roasted just marshmallows. Marshmallows. Yeah, but on that note, still, it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sweet bad. I'm hoping you like them something else. Because they're kids. Mm -hmm. Very persistent. Yeah. So the water is almost at a boil. Yeah, camping out here is a little bit different because um yeah, we have a power bank that um our host has provided us with. But it's not a lot of sunlight to get enough solar power. So I'm trying to uh, yeah, be consist um to be conservative with it because as you see i have the computer over there i'm about to edit so yeah now in the previous video i did mention to you guys that i'm going to show you little bits and pieces of the campsite um as we go along if you guys never checked out the last video do check it out we made some amazing ramen noodle soup it was so good now this is our little i guess cutting board workstation so this is where we have the table if you want to sit there and eat and everything like that and over there we have you know a cooler we have a cooler that we brought from home that one there as well and that one and in here we have a little wash station that we can wash a few you know stuff there um jilly almost tripped again because they have a bunch of little <laughs> oh no i did i definitely did <laughs> what? I was trying to run it out. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so some Lipton tea. Is it me? Oh, the gold seal. Oh, gold bar. Ooh, nice. All right, so call me dumb, but it's kind of weird. Like I just always thought condensed milk was a Jamaican thing, like a Caribbean thing. I know it existed in other countries because I've work with people from brazil and there's actually a dish i want to try it's um a dish with condensed milk and chocolate i don't remember what it's called so i know condensed milk exists everywhere else but it just always felt to me like a jamaican thing and america had cows cows milk, oh, that milk or yeah because if you know like in jamaica we can't really afford cows milk if you're to be honest it's all expensive mm, it really is expensive in a most supermarkets they only have like the the half gallon because they know people don't necessarily buy it that often so yeah what do you want to put in there some garlic powder mm -hmm. of course not <laughs> bruh <laughs> it's a condensed milk add some lipton oh they actually gave us um oh that's nice it's pretty cool pretty neat remind me the enamel the old school ones mm -hmm. like oh yeah they came in blue and red nice. yeah Chip. I still use it because
must say these cups are really impractical because they are metal and it burns as hell and there's hot stuff in it. I don't know how people drink from that. I changed my cups because the metal cups burn your lips. I guess it's doing its job, which is to keep the drink hot, but it's hard to drink from it. Yeah, Julie just made some um, marshmallows. I'm trying to stay away from excessive sweet if I don't have to. And um, yeah, I just uploaded some files to my computer, so I'm about to edit really soon. Oh, we're just relaxing. The tent's back there. Really nice tent, actually. Really nice tent. Um, it's going to get dark. Um, we do have motion sensor lights out there, but it's not going to be enough to really video anything from this point on. So um, I'll take you guys into tomorrow morning. Um, probably show you guys, you know, prepping the stuff for tomorrow's dish. And then tomorrow, um, the next video, we'll do the lobster. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, good morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Funny thing, you know, I always tell you guys about, you know, the coldest bottles and da 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 stuff like, you know, at first let me set up my tent. All right, so like I was saying, you know, I always talk about these bottles and, you know, how good they are and it keeps stuff cool. So, honestly, while you're out here, it's a little bit strange that I am scared to have my bottle inside a room with me. My phone is on. Here's the reason why. So, last night, we had some wings. Of course, we took our bottles. I think right now in there, I have some power aid. Here in Florida at the moment, the temperature has been dropping to maybe about 60 degrees right now. So for us as Jamaicans, it's a little bit cold. And man, in the middle of the night, because we have juice in the bottles and we have been drinking, we want to pee like hell. <laughs> now, you know for yourself, when you want to pee in the night, you don't want to get up because you're so sleepy. Now imagine being sleepy, having to come out here in the cold and then you're worried about possibly encountering snakes and stuff bruh i guess that might be the only time i don't recommend bringing those inside of your bedroom or whatever but apart from that yeah um yeah it has been useful um having them it's a little bit chilly out right now it's probably, probably feels like 65 or so or 60 i don't even know um yeah, i did tell you guys um earlier well yesterday i'm gonna be showing you a little bit more of the camp setup and you know what we have to do um so i don't even know what time let me bring my phone or my watch um so the first thing i'm gonna do is set up the solar panels i need to set those up uh, unfortunately here i mean well fortunately and unfortunately here there's so much foliage so you get a lot of shaded areas so there's not a lot of space to actually pop your solar panels out However, it does help to keep us cool. And speaking about keeping us cool, again, for this has been very helpful. You might find it very helpful when you come on to stuff like camping. Having a cool drink for me personally just makes me feel like I'm in some level of civilization. So it's been really cool to just pop some Powerade in there or whatever it is and keep it cool for quite a long time. So that's a good thing. Um, anyway, we are, well, Julie right now is over there taking a shower. I don't, Jill, isn't it cold? Bruv, it, 
I could tell it's cold. So she's taking a shower right now. Um, and I'm going to go set up everything else that I can. All right, let's get into it. So I mentioned to you guys before I'm going, oh my gosh, I was uh, almost kicked my foot on that thing. Um, we are going to start setting up camp and look who got here mad early. Good morning, guys. Yeah, it's it's now 9 a.m. I did tell him to get here by 9 a.m., which he did. On the dot. Yep, brought some supplies. We got up from like about six, but um, yeah. It was dark. <laughs> it was it was bad dark. Cause I was like, no way. Yeah, it's a lot of foliage. Yes. Yeah, so. Looking forward to another soy adventure today. Oh yeah. So let's get it cracking. Vibes, bro. Vibes. All right. So as like I said, I'm gonna show you guys um just a setup of everything. Oh my god, I forgot the solar power bank. All right, let's go get that. Because I didn't change my shirt. Yeah. Oh my god. Don't don't worry about it. It's because I'm I haven't showered yet, so I don't want to put on a fresh shirt okay, okay, and not okay. you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go get the solar power bank and um Yep. I brought some oh you brought breakfast? I know it's not something you really like, so I am gonna grab some, but Okay, we work with that. Yeah. Alright. <sighs> you have everything charged up, right? Yeah. Good. <laughs> oh no, that's just a tree is popping, bro. <laughs> so you know what was so funny? Like yesterday, every time you heard a sound, you're just like, huh? <laughs> you're just like, yo, what's that? I'm like, am I the only one hearing this shit? <laughs> we kind of got used to it. <laughs> I got you. All right. So Kurt's um, just parked out there. Oh, no. Kurt! Can you push the car up a little bit? You're blocking my sun. All right, so usually the sun comes from there, but the car is kind of blocking it. And then all the way down here, this is where I normally set up the um, the panels. Yeah, so I just normally... Normally just pop it in right there. Right now it's not showing um, any input at the moment, but that's okay. Eventually it will. And leave this right here. Oh, I just got pricked. Anyway, I'll leave it right here and probably in like an hour or so, sun should start um, getting on there and we should be good. A symphony of sounds, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm, it's kind of funny if you ask me. My favorite part is just seeing the leaves just fall. It's just like, I can't even explain. It's almost like leaf snowflakes. It's pretty, pretty cool. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do right now is just um, get some water stuff filled up. Um, we have about 10 gallons to spare. Kurt brought five gallons yesterday and another five. So we have 10 gallons to spare. I'm going to start filling up the stuff that needs water, for example, the hand wash station that needs water there, and um, also the shower head. I'm going to have that filled up. That's probably the weirdest thing, filling up a shower head. <laughs> Just so yeah, I know. And of course, I might fill this up, but I think I'm going to still stick to Powerade. That's what I normally um, toss in there most times. And um, yeah. When was the last time you gone camping, though, Kurt? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Never. Never? No. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a kid. Are you kidding me? I was up at uh, Hollowell. Up oh. I was a teenager. Oh, yeah, you didn't mention that. We never gone camping in the U.S. No. Never. Never. <laughs> Another soy vlogs first. Oh, All right, so now I'm just going to take um, this water off. Um, something that. Um, you have to consider sometimes whenever someone fills water for you, you don't know where the water is coming from. You don't know if it's potable or if it's just pipe water. Um, so we haven't been drinking this. Um, we got this 
with the property. So what we're going to do is just take this and uh, fill the shower water. And then we can put some potable water in here. You know, we're going to use it to wash your hands, but if you need to drink it, we can. So I think I find it's pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. It's a pretty cool concept. I mean, not with the heaviest water flow, but it works. Basically what you do, you just fill it up. You got a hose or just bottles of water, fill it up. All right, and this is what it looks like uh, when it is full. Yeah, funny enough, we filled it to a bowl here yesterday. Usually took a shower yesterday and this morning I took a shower yesterday and it went down to about here. And we just popped four more gallons back in there, filled it to the top. So it kind of shows you that you don't have to be using a bunch of water to take a shower. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, showering feels really good when the water is flowing on you, but it just shows that we can conserve a bit. So yeah, that's what's up. All right, so I have been um, just taking out the water out of the, the igloos and stuff like that. And we're down to, I mean, I've refilled what I need to refill with ice, so that's good. But we have some here just loosely. So I'm just gonna toss the rest of my ice in here because I know it's going to keep it a lot longer than the igloo itself. It's, it's, it sounds dumb, but it actually does. Um, this ice I've had in here from, from when? Yesterday. Yesterday? Uh, what time did you put, like in the afternoon? Mm -hmm. Crazy. Anyway, because out here, we're trying to conserve as much as we can. Look, fortunate enough, we have Kurt that stops by and drops stuff off. But if you never had anybody at all, I promise you, probably if you got even the bigger bottle, man, I'm wasting ice now. If you got like the bigger bottle, the biggest polar bottles, then you could store some stuff. Funny enough, they have ice packs. You knew that, right? Yeah, they have ice packs, dog bowls. Might get one for vanilla. All right, anybody needs ice? You got you got it in your bottle? So I don't know if you guys know, my boy copped his coalless bottle and dropped soy vlogs on it. Yo, the link will be in the description box if you guys want to get these bottles. You copped this bottle because I had one. Yes. Why do you have this bottle? Like, what made you buy this bottle in the first place? Because I wanted to be like soy vlogs. <laughs> oh my god. So you're telling me the bottle doesn't work? No, it works 100%. It works really great. Good. Okay, cool. All right, so. I'm gonna drop some ice in here. Yeah, so these, these little rubbers right here, they're interchangeable, so you can actually change out the colors if you want to make, match it or switch with somebody. And you can actually buy them. Yes. And replace them, and the head too. Oh yeah. Which I found pretty cool, because, I, oh yeah, you. Make sure you get these too. Yeah. You can clip it onto your bags or whatever. It <laughs> definitely do the soy vlogs, because coldest don't sell those. Nah. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool that they actually have the, the head that you can if you wanted to. Anyway, all right guys, so we got quite a bit of stuff done this morning so we can get ready to start our cooking day. Um, lucky enough, Kurt brought some breakfast so we can have some breakfast and then we can do up some lobster for lunch. Um, I have mentioned that if you guys want a discount code for the coalless bottles, the link is in the description box and I do get a kickback from it. So if you guys want to help out Soy Vlogs, definitely get a bottle. But I can tell you, I really, really, really enjoy using these bottles. For myself, um, as an influencer, people see me with stuff all the time and they ask, you know, what is it what are you using or whatever and I do not carry stuff with me that I do not use now if I'm to be honest I've seen a couple comments people have mentioned stuff like um, you know if you have sodas in the bottle or whatever the case is it can shoot up into the air or whatever the case is funny enough if you check the name they call it the coldest water <laughs> so I'm guessing that they're trying to say that you know specifically you want water in the bottle However, what I found is a neat trick to actually solve that problem is just to 
you basically decompress. Now, the funny thing, when you make a really good product that is good at what it's supposed to do, you're gonna find, you know, maybe a thing or here or there that might can happen. This product is actually made to be super airtight so that your bottle does not leak when you turn it upside down and also that it doesn't lose temperature really quickly. That's why the bottle keeps stuff really cold. So you might find an after effect of if you have soda in there, you know, all the bubbly after a while. I found like, what would you say? Like probably if you have the soda in the bottle for like an hour. Yeah. If you have it in there for an hour, if you shake it up, I mean, come on now, it is going to do that. Yeah, whatever the case is, it can happen, but the simple trick is it decompresses the bottle because again, it's meant to keep things in there airtight, so there's going to be some pressure. And anyway, I'm going to close off this video here today. Again, shout out to everybody that has gotten one of the bottles and stuff like that. I've seen people also asking me about the links to the bags that I have. I'm not sponsored by that company, but I will drop the link in the description box so you guys can get that bag as well because I would be happy to allow you guys to take more comfortable trips with the stuff that I use. Anyway, I'm going to... We'll take a shower, come and smell a little bit frowny. Remember these three things, love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, keep the link. What sandwich is this? It's the ultimate sub, which is ham, turkey, roast beef, cheese. And that's just me, amigo. Mine have the same thing except one onion. Mine have the same thing except the onion. Thanks for breakfast, man. That was good.